Welcome to our new home tour. So it's one big like great room with a dining room and family room. Not only are you getting a house tour, but I'm gonna show you how I organize some of the spaces and I would definitely love your input as well. But we are gonna stay out of the children's bedrooms. So here's our front entrance. A lot of you asked me where I got this rug from and it, I believe it's from Costco. So this is what the entryway looks like. In here we have part of our command center right here where we have the hooks for the leashes, keys, purses, book bags, just the shoes that day that you're wearing. There's no more shoe bin, none of that. Everything goes into their bedroom. I keep all of our party things here, some of our party bowls, but napkins and placemats. In this bin we have tablecloths and mats. And here's where I keep extra things to run out the door. Kept it simple. Our baked goods go in here for snacking. Kept our little foodie sign. And my, my tea set here. I love that all the windows have ledges. I think it's so fun to decorate and make it cute. I just kept it simple right now. Very simple. And some extra things that we need here for the outside. More hand sanitizer and wipes for Paige. It looks out under the deck. We have patio furniture. Our smokers are out there. So here I have that coat rack that I use for my aprons. And I do have more aprons that I'll be just sharing with you in a minute. Here's the kitchen. It's a nice open. When I'm doing dishes, I could look out into and see the rest of the family. It's just so beautiful. The wood is absolutely stunning. We have stools here that came with the home. Most of the time kids eat at the counter and it's just so nice to sit and talk while cooking. And we come to here, let me share with you this wall. This wall is so fun. It looks different in person than on camera. You might be thinking, looking here through the camera, that everything is too high, but in person, it's not. <laughs> It's, I wish you could see the difference. It's really not. This wall was really fun to put together, but it took a long time. <laughs> My mother-in-law helped me, and what we did was, is we had everything on the floor in front of the space, and we were mapping it out on the floor, laying things out. But we finally nailed it after two hours of this. <laughs> two hours we nailed this wall. I was inspired by a restaurant south of here and I loved their wall inside using the cutting boards. How can I take my happiness is homemade sign and do something like that on my wall? I am from Massachusetts and Derek served his mission for our church in Massachusetts. That's how I met him. A really cool thing is, is we Derek did his family history and as he was looking he noticed that he had family come over from the Mayflower and they actually settled Massachusetts. He has some really big names in the founding of Massachusetts. Then we took this little H that we've had and we stuck it on the cutting board. From here it leads into the hall but first before we get there I want to share with you how I organized the kitchen because it is a small kitchen but between the rest of the rooms which I'm going to be sharing with you we made it work. This is our dish in cup mug cabinet self-explanatory all our big thermos type mugs are over here so I was trying to make it easy when emptying the dishwasher since the dishwasher is right here that you just turn and put all cups and plates in this cabinet here and then I use these stands to help separate and create lift to be able to put more in there there is stuff on my counter. Is it too much for me? Maybe because I'm used to the big counters from the last home. But this is all that I'm gonna put on the counter is the fruit bowl, the napkin holder, two utensils, our, our little crock pot here that we use for making the house smell yummy, and the KitchenAid. It's too heavy to move anywhere and I just don't wanna move it. Let me bring you down to this side of the kitchen and this drawer. So this drawer holds all my pot holders and plastic bags and aluminum foil and wrap. This cabinet here holds all our pots and pans and lids. 
these drawers pull out which make it so handy and then I used one of those dividers I guess they're used for plates I think but I used them for our um, lids to our pots and pans and it makes it really nice this drawer underneath the stove it's actually a warmer did you guys know that you can actually there's a setting there's a setting on your oven that you can turn to warm and it'll keep like your casserole warm under there while you're using the oven seriously never knew that anyway but I am keeping some cookie sheets and pans down in there so I'm back to a flat top stove which is okay I loved my gas but it's all good so we have that the microwave so Derek has his stuff up there like his medicine and I think those are manuals to the home for the oven and things up there so we don't lose them so I don't utilize that cabinet because one I'm very short so above the KitchenAid is the spice cabinet. I do have some serving bowls here and behind these spices. I might just move those up there. But when I'm serving side dishes, I grab those uh, nice dishes. I didn't know where else to put them. I do have um, this row and there's a row right here that turn so I can find spices. So that makes it nice. Since I have my KitchenAid here in this drawer, I have my Cutco knives, my garlic press can opener, things for my Bosch and mixer, everything that I need for baking, measuring spoons, cups, all of that in this drawer. Now let's go down to this cabinet. This is where I keep all the mixing bowls and casserole dishes. And again, these slide right out to make it super convenient and there you have it up here I just have my everyday holiday dishes and back here are my holiday boxed up cups water dispenser you can't say because I have some dish mats here when they're clean I, keep, I just keep them there so let's go to this side of the island we have our trash can here each side of the counter has outlets love that so we, here we have drawers and under under the sink and dishwasher here is where we keep the forks and the spoons and I've organized all of this by the Dollar Tree so all these white holders are from the Dollar Tree I have my knives spoons forks soup spoons serving spoons things like that and our steak knives and extra kitchen needs right here all in this top drawer this drawer here has all our dish towels and um, rags scrub cloths that we need to wash dishes I should put a dish towel out I don't have one so I'm gonna grab one there we go much better this drawer here I have extra kitchen needs that I could get to my rolling pins my mixer my cheese grater, uh, my scale, and my chopper. And this drawer here holds all my cutting boards. And that right there is my baguette holder to when I make baguette bread, they form in those and cook. Under the sink, it's pretty basic. I have our trash bags, soaps, and my cleaners. And I have a lift shelf here to make more room for all of that. And that is how I have under my sink for right now. And I did get these cushion mats at Costco and they work so good. They're easy to move around in different places in the kitchen where I'm standing and it just makes it so comfy because I have such flat feet. So here is the kitchen. Now let's go down the hall. We have three rooms down here and one closet. Straight ahead is the closet. The room to the right is the food room our food storage room to the left is the laundry room and the door with the wreath is the pantry one of you mentioned get a longer runner for the pantry and I sure did this was actually a target runner that I had bought for the other house to put in the front entryway and I didn't like it and I raveled it up and never brought it back to target to return so look at that that works out good right look at this pantry I know a lot of you have seen it already but it is so big and I'm so thankful for it oh I love this wall this is my favorite this pantry sign I recently got at Hobby Lobby and these farmers market signs I got years ago at Walmart 
and then the bread box at Michael's. And then I have this bookcase here that used to be in Shaylee's closet. And I went out and got these bins for all the extra snacks and gadgets. And then over here, I have this rack. I can't remember where I got the rack holder, but it's so pretty. But it is holding all my extra aprons that I absolutely love. <laughs> and those extra ones are here. Okay, this actually took me a long time to put together and try to figure out. Is it done? Man, yeah, for now it is. Um, until I can think of something else, but this is working. But I made it pop, progress over perfection, right? And it is working. Up top, I have on these bins I got from Walmart. They're like three something, but I got them years ago. I just recycled what I had. So I have like all my nice glassware. Um, like glass plates and serving little bowls and all of that precious stuff up there. Some more serving platters. Up here is where I keep the Pioneer Woman crock pots. Everyone asks me, why so many slow cookers? Well, you guys, I mainly use these ones in my everyday life. This one is my favorite one. It's by Hamilton Beach. I grabbed these at on Walmart.com for like 20 bucks each to help me with my slow cooker videos so I could cook things in one day instead of multiple days and so I can do things quicker. But they're not my favorite. They get super hot on the outside. I, I will say I'm not impressed with the Pioneer Women's Soul Cookers. Some containers and bread bowls up there. This is where I keep all my Tupperware, um, all my containers for school lunches, work lunches, things like that, meal prep, lunch prep. And then these are the normal Tupperware that I go through all the time for the refrigerator for leftovers. And then here is where I keep those round containers to store freezing things uh, for like soups and broths and, and anything for my freezer back there. Back up here is my big stew pot. And more of my plastic ware here. To some more electrical things like waffle makers and choppers and my panini, um, my pizzelle press. So what I need to do is I need to label and get a label on these. So now that we're settled in, I could do that. That way I can, I don't have to keep moving these to see what's in these jars. So that's next, coming up next. So I have food in here, all our dog stuff here, just a few things here, baking needs here, baking. I have my onions and garlic back here, more baking needs, and then two snacks in these containers, all from Walmart. Um, crackers go in here, this needs to get refilled, and then our cereal. And then these big cereal containers I also got at Walmart years and years ago. Here we keep any extra bread and things here, oils, more baking, gluten-free items, peanut butters, oils, honeys, drinks or shakes, my bread pans, my toaster, all of Derek's grilling needs, my Bosch, our air fryer, and our instant pot. And then down below, I have like all, it's basically random kitchen needs. This holds some um, pie pans, some more like other, other baking pans in here. My wheat grinder, uh, this is bread flour, this is wheat down here. My pizza pans are the stool to reach, the dog food, oil, potatoes, and then here is where I keep my big cutting board, griddle, some of my big cookie sheets and cooling racks, and then in here is where all my aluminum pans are for freezer meals. I just gotta say I love this system here. This is where I keep a lot of our extra snacks, so when the kids go for snacks, they come in here as well. And I just did a Costco run, you'll see it next week. A lot of my health stuff is in here. More snacks. Snacks, chips. <laughs> this is our magic bullet stuff. Extra kitchen gadgets here. And more here. So up here, I have the cookbooks that I'm into right now. I read cookbooks like books. And I'm loving this one, Beautiful Boards. I'm going to be sharing some of those. And then I just found this one at the DI, Grandma's Italian Kitchen. 
Oh, it's a beautiful book. And then in here we do keep bread that we are currently using and we do use this bread box. But this is my pantry, you guys, and I'm super happy with it, but it did take a while to put together, but I'm so glad it's done. Okay, next, we'll come down here, and first I will show you the storage closet. It's nice, there's so much storage in this house. All right, lots going on here, you guys. This is our game movie craft closet. It fits a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so up here we have all our puzzles and some of our games, more games down in here. Kids have been playing. We've been playing a lot of games since we moved in. This whole shelf, there's games back there. And then movies. And a lot of you said, go put your movies in like those slide cases, kind of like you do with your CDs. And I think we might take you up on that. So, but they're all in here for right now. Like I said, we just unpacked. And then a lot of our craft bins that you have seen over the years, if you've been with me that long, that I use in my office, like birthday bags, uh, arts and crafts supplies, and there's a lot in these. Um, but that's where they are, and so we have tons of storage, so. And this is this closet. Okay, next let's go into the laundry room. All right, let's come into the laundry room. I love that this has counter space, you guys. <laughs> oh, I just feel spoiled with this. Cupboards and counter space. So you may recognize this sign from the last house. We grabbed that at Sam's Club. And then this laundry sign that I grabbed from Michael's. We're just gonna do the walls first, how about that? And then this pin board I had in our mudroom at the last house and in the kitchen in the She's in Her Apron home. And now it's in the laundry room used for our command center. And then behind the door here is the command center with a big counter and cabinet. There's so much storage space in this house, I just love it. Okay, so this is for my vlogging schedule. Um, and we keep the house printer here so it's out of the way, not out on the desk. The kids' homework station, I've done videos on this. I'll, of course, leave everything down below. Uh, but we still have one for Callie. Uh, so anything for Callie and Felix, I'll put in here. And when they come to visit, they could come in and grab it. So that way I don't lose any of their stuff that comes through to us or they leave here or anything like that. So lots of things in here for the kids for the summer. Um, they still do school work during the summer. And then this will get cleaned up here because uh, we have school next week. So that will get all cleared out and moved out of the way. Probably put down here for next summer, taken back out. So, uh, And then this is my Sunday basket. I do have a video scheduled for you guys so hold on tight. Um, about how I keep track of my paper, bills, all of that that come into the home. It's been a lifesaver. So in this corner here, I've been keeping all the mops and the brooms to the house. And then this little vacuum. I know a lot of you have asked on previous videos what this vacuum is, where to get it. Um, this is the Power, Power Lifter Ion Pet by Bissell. And I grabbed it from Walmart. I do have a Hoover that I need to bring somewhere to get looked at. Um, this doesn't do a bad job. Really doesn't. So this is what I do for the majority of my sweeping, really. I vacuum. And so I keep my ironing board in this corner so that way it blocks all my mops and, and brooms. Alright, so I've only been keeping one laundry basket in here, maybe two, while I'm doing somebody's laundry. There are laundry baskets in the bathroom and in the bedroom. So, um, this one is kind of anything that was from the kitchen or people just picked up and brought into here. So that basket's always dirty. I have a nice cushion pad on the floor. It's because I spend a lot of time in the laundry room and love the cushiony for my feet. Alright, so let's go over what's in these cabinets. So, this first cabinet here is the cleaning station. So 
is where I keep cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, the iron, all right here. I love that my big things of detergent that I get from Costco fit in here. It's fantastic. So this is where all of my cleaning supplies are and under the kitchen sink too. And then this jar catches all the coins and money coming out of people's pockets. <laughs> And then here is where I keep all my cleaning cloths, Norwex cloths, um, Enviro cloths, microfiber, all that in here in my, my dust mitts. And this cabinet is where I keep the uh, mop pads and dry mop pads and other extensions to my mops here. All my dusters to do dusting. I have my Enviro wand, my Norwex Enviro wand back there. And then down here, my shower scrub cloths, car scrub cloths. And then here is a lot of my bottle sprays and extra bottle spray parts and all my scrubbing agents to clean. So everything I need to clean my home is in here and organized. I love it. Okay, so this cabinet here is where I keep my cookbooks. I have a big pantry, but I wanted to keep all the cookbooks in here. So I had the space for it in here. So this, I had to redo the shelves to fit everything. They're adjustable shelves, which makes it super nice. So up here are all my binders that I've created. I do have videos on these, the links are below. And then all my cookbooks, love it. Nothing on this counter. I'm keeping it cleared till the holidays. <laughs> and then I'll put a little bit of Halloween and fall and Christmas and then, but this is what it'll normally look like. Nothing. This drawer though is for all the extra recipes that I find and print out and haven't put in the sleeves yet. And that's what it will be. <laughs> and a lot of my meal planning things. But right now, this is from the move and I still have recipes that need to go back in their books and they're all just scattered in here. So this will roll into my routines this week now that it's the house is unpacked and that is a to do. All right, down here is where I have another Sunday basket but that is for my YouTube stuff. Everything for our vacuums, all our extensions and tubes are down there and then I have some potpourri stored there and some boxes for um, other brand deals and things stored back there for she's in her apron. All right, so this cabinet here, these cupboard drawers, this one is where I keep all the pens, highlighters, pencils, post-its. These are the command strips for hanging pictures and things. We always need them. They're here ready for us. Glue sticks, more hooks back there, um, and it's perfect set up with the homework station. So that's all there. This drawer here has our tape, hole punches, um, scissors, calculators, staples, pins, things like that. Everything has a home. And then here is the overflow from that hall closet. So it has a lot of my craft bins. A lot of these bins have crayons and ribbons and cards and streamers in here. Um, more construction paper for the kids down here. I have some other cross stitches that I'm working on here. This has all my wax melts that I absolutely love down here that I can't use right now, but they're down there because my mother-in-law's allergic to them. Um, but I have them stored and organized in here. And then just more school supplies and crafts right here. All right, and then of course this board here for invitations, announcements, our calendar, the kids could come and see what's going on, just like at the old house, all there for us. And this is the laundry room. And last over here, let's head into the food storage room. Here is our food storage room. When my in-laws, put this room in they were go they did it because they were gonna build a pool 
and there was going to be a shower right here. This was going to be like the pool room. There was going to be a shower and lockers and a toilet. and But yeah, it was going to be a pool room and organized for that, for the pool toys and everything. But they didn't build one. Um, so that never happened. So this room in, is being used as our food storage room. So you may recognize these shelves from our past houses. We might put another one here to go across here. Um, and I'd like to store some more water and things. So when we do that, I'll share it with you. So this over here is our big freezer that holds a lot of our meat. And we just have some storage and some more storage buckets here. I'll be sharing with you what I'm going to be doing with those. So we have our big freezer here and another refrigerator here. So the, up here I have a lot of our bags that I take to like Costco and travel with food and things just up there. It's kind of a mess, but whatever. So behind the door here is this bookshelf and this is where we're keeping all our paper goods. This is the extension cord to run the freezer and refrigerator. So all our paper goods, plastic is here. Okay, so I do have videos on how to get a two week supply of food. I am coming up um, with more food storage videos for you, but I have beginner videos on how to build your food storage to how to start a food storage for beginners. I think everyone should have something on hand in case of an emergency, a loss of job, and with the climate that we're in, I think it's very important. So I'm going to be coming out with more videos for you, but I'll have what I have linked for you down below. And that is our food storage room. Okay, that is the corner back here. We come back into the kitchen and great room. And here, there is a closet right here, and this goes under the stairs. This is holding a lot of our stuff. You guys, this is the Monica closet. <laughs> this has our big Kirby vacuum in here. But um, we're still going through. This is the last of the things that we need to go through right, just right here. And some of the stuff has to go back to storage. Um, everything back here is um, stacked neatly and organized, but uh, some of this stuff needs to go to storage and it's fine. So this is the only cluttered spot in the home, which I'm fine with. Okay, so let me talk to you about the dining room. Now, I know a lot of you, when you first saw that we moved into the house, you didn't like carpet on carpet. I get that, but I wanted to protect my mother-in-law's carpet with having the dining room table right here. So I found this rug and the one that's in the family room for, on Wayfair. And I wanted something neutral that matched the rug. Now, we had it set up where it was a little more this way but with unpacking things have shifted but we did get some carpet tape so um, later this weekend we're going to fix this and we're going to have to get muscles and move the dining room table and move this over and align it a little bit better than what it is and put that tape on and we'll be good to go especially on the corners of the rug and I'm glad that we did this because after one of the children we're done eating dinner. They had their sloppy joe on the table and their chair out. And if you leave the chair out with food on the table, our sweet dog Paige will jump up. And that's exactly what she did. And she dropped the sloppy joe on the carpet. And so I had to deep clean the carpet and it came right out. But I would have felt horrible if it was on the, my mother-in-law's carpet. Um, I get asked a lot where I got this. Actually, we got this from my mother-in-law and I'm not sure where she got this table from. But it used to be black and then it was repainted, but I want to repaint it again with a certain lacquer on it. That was on our kitchen cabinets from um, the She's in Her Apron first home. And so we'll be working on that. The table runner is from Walmart and the beautiful greenery is from Home Goods. But I love how big this table is. It has all the leaps in it, so it's fully stretched. And I didn't want to crowd it with the fourth chair in here. So now we have them over here next to this table. And I have some decorative pillows that I'll eventually put here. And then, of course, for Christmas in the fall, you'll see decorative pillows. Um, we have this table behind the couch that's just holding some family pictures for right now. It's with the grandparents. 
And then by the dining room right back here is our little office space. The cabinets are from Ikea. My chair is from at home and the desk is from Ikea. So yeah, two computers. <laughs> but um, I like editing on a laptop much better. So sometimes I'll sit here and work on either computer, edit, um, work on my projects and things like that here. Um, this drawer of the desk has some post-its, a scissor, pens, pencils, my camera needs, um, and some thank you cards underneath here. If you were to pick this up and move it, you can see there's lots of thank you cards. Down in this drawer, there's not much happening. It's made for a filing system, but I don't use that. So I just have some notepads here. Have a blanket on the chair because I always <laughs> get comfy when I'm working. And this corner here is my YouTube plaque that I got when I surpassed 100,000 subscribers. Above the desk, we have the picture of the Payson Temple, the one that we used to live by. And that is where Callie and Felix were sealed. Down here, I have things that I am, projects I'm currently working on for She's in Her Apron and some files and, and different things for printing here. Underneath the desk is where I keep my sticker bin and a trash can and the plugs for the computer. And the drawers are pretty empty. We're not putting anything in these drawers. There's like batteries in one. There's really nothing going on in these drawers. But here we have like the patriotic section on our bookshelf. And the kids love reading um, stories about Liberty Bell, the Declaration of Independence. And we have lots of patriotic books about our nation's history here. And then uh, just more just books that we wanted to keep here that we wanted to read. Um, a lot of our books are still in storage that are pretty much duplicates of like what my in-laws have that if we want a reference to, we could just go up there. Here's a lot of our church reference books that we like to have with our scripture study. We got the, um, this statue here and this statue here from Maui when we went a couple years ago. And yes, that is a bust of Derek when he had his beard. His friend made that with his 3D printer. Isn't that just the funniest? Oh, it's so funny. I love it. Up top, I just have some greenery. The pots with the greenery are from Ikea, but I'm not sure where the little trees are from. On this side here, we have just some more books. These are a lot of my favorite books right here. I love Jane Eyre, Pride and Prejudice, Withering Heights. I love it. Um, some organizing books that I like to reference to. Some more church books here. And here we have, uh, these are fun. These are our tr books from a lot of our Bear Lake trips with the family. The kids love looking at those. But that is the office area. And then we come into the family room. This door here will take you to the main part of the house, but also to the boys' bedroom. Okay, here is the family room. We do have a exercise bike here, which I'm so glad it's out here. I'm not a fan of exercise equipment out in the main area of the home, but, um, it's been fine so we do like riding that and we have our sectional couch here that we got at RC Willie and the captain chairs are from Ikea so here's some more frames that will eventually get those prints in Paige is having a good nap so I'm looking for a lamp to go on this table so pretty soon that will have that this is our family motto keep walking forward and here is our new entertainment center. We got rid of the fireplace. And this is from Costco, and there's a really funny story about this, you guys. Really funny. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for Thursday's video. It's a Costco haul. <laughs> and you can see uh, what happened with this. <laughs> I have our bird cage with some decorations here in that corner, and just some family pictures on top with some greenery. That's all we're doing. We're keeping this very simple. 
The reason why we got this entertainment center was because we wanted to be able to put all electronics away, remotes, and not have them out and not see the wires. So this is why we ended up getting this. And it was for a good price too. So it's beautiful. It matches the home. It's just, it's so beautiful. And then over here in this brick area is an area for a future wood stove. You could see from up here. Um, so I'm not sure when that will go in, but that's okay. I think I'll put our Christmas tree here this year. But Paige's bed is there, and she loves laying there as well. So I just decorated it with a window frame and a wreath. And then here is um, another one of our shelves. I didn't use a shelf in the other home. There just wasn't a spot for it, but it's back here. And eventually this will have our Halloween village on it. So I just put some greenery and pictures in. Um, just made it really beautiful. So this coffee table is new. Um, it was gifted by, again, my mother-in-law. She's doing something different with her furniture. The whole family benefits when my mother-in-law redecorates. It's awesome. <laughs> so um, this works out really good for us because it holds all of our scripture study needs, besides the stuff on the bookcase, but our everyday scripture study. I used to keep it in a basket, but this works out better. So all our resources, our scriptures are here. This door opens up. I do have my cross stitch that I work on every night in here. There's more um, books and needs down here that we use. And then this one also holds some more scriptures down here for the family. So we really have been enjoying this coffee table. And it's wonderful just to have something that we do our scripture time in right here where we can, a big space to put things on and have that with the family. And so it's been wonderful. All right, heading in toward the back. Here's the back hallway. I love this picture of our savior. You might remember this over our piano for a long time in the beginning of She's in Her Apron. Here I have our wreath holder. Um, this wreath I got at Big Lots. All right, there's a room we're not going to enter, but we are. Looks like in the next couple of weeks, a contractor's coming out, and he's actually going to put a door here, and that leads into the boys' room. So we don't need to use the main door of the house to enter the boys' room from that way. So we'll have a contractor here soon doing that. So I love coming into the hall, seeing that picture, and we can see it out from the family room. Okay, so here is the hall. So I am working on prints, getting printed up with the family, especially if Callie Felix from their wedding up here on this wall. And I might put as the center thing, let's stay home, but I'm still playing with that, but that stuff's here for right now. This is a linen closet, and it is a big one. All right, it's not perfect, but doesn't need to be right now. So. We have down here some blankets and toilet paper, have some beach towels here, and each bucket is sheets that belong to Shaylee, the boys, our bed, So, and I will eventually get tags made as well. And here's some more like medical things here, some extra pillows and blankets up top and humidifiers. So this is a work in progress, but it's functional right now, especially just moving in. Okay, next is the bathroom, and then we have the master bedroom here. So let's work our way into the bathroom. Uh, I just love it. So, lots of covered space. Here we keep the laundry basket. And then here is our toilet room. So we have our shower. Derek put up this towel rack. I needed him to put it up a little bit more higher, so he's gonna change it later, but I wanted towels that were accessible because my kids will forget to grab them. I even do sometimes once I get in the shower, so I wanted something nearby. Uh, I think I found that at Walmart. So there's a window here, and then our moon kiss spray for our toilet paper is here. That sprays our toilet paper. I shared it in a video once before. It's great, so no more wet wipes that clog your toilet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then our three drawer system here for like sanitary wipes, extra toilet paper, things like that right there. Handy, handy. 
So eventually I'll have something on the wall here. I'm playing around with two things, we'll see. But still, you know, still working out those things. And then our big cabinet, oh my gosh, this is great. The covered space here is wonderful. So let me bring you through. This one is my drawer with my needs here. This one is Shaylee's. This one has all our hair things, ties, scrunchies. There, there's nothing in that drawer. Okay, under here, I got lots of stuff. I think there's some Windex, some mouthwash, and all my storage bins for moving. I shared this in a video with you guys. I got these storage bins at Costco. And so when I started packing up the other home, I packed everything in categories. So we have sanitary pads and bath needs, lotions, dental, um, shaving stuff. Oh my gosh, extra makeup, things like that. They're all in here. Eventually I will have labels on them. But right now, this is what it's going to look like because everything has a home. I'm not going to unpack it. It's going to stay that way. So eventually, I'll be making labels for that. And of course, I'll be taking you along. But I'm going to keep it like this. Um, this drawer are, is the boys' drawer. They share that. This drawer is Derek's. Okay, so this one has um, Derek's needs in hair trimming kits and things. So in here, I have more of the bins down here. Um, some extra organizing bins here face face cloths hand towels and the extra towels that we have um, and that's it and then we have some soap and some other needs here yes that's a leg lamp that was thrown in there from the move <laughs> you know from the Christmas story yeah that's in there uh, some first aid things some travel needs up here so I'll be redoing labels for all that. So on the counter, I kept it very simple, not a lot of stuff. Um, my candle holders that I found at the DI and spray painted them white with some candles. This soap here is so good. This is from Bath and Body Works, Blackberries and Basil. Oh, so good. So, so good. And then of course my friend Heidi Malloy's Pink Musk Everyday Lotion. You guys, this smells amazing. Found this sconce here at the DI. And then from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed this jar and we have some Q-tips. And that is it for the counter, you guys. Super simple, very nice. These two cushions here on the floor, these mats, they're cushiony and they feel so good on your feet. Um, I had them at the last house, if you remember. I love that it has a separate room for the shower and the toilet so we could still get ready while people are in there, so it makes it super convenient. Okay, let's go into the master bedroom. I love the light, the afternoon light that comes beaming into this house. It's so pretty. But in order for me to film it good, I am going to shut the blinds a little. One of the questions I get asked about the blinds is, is are they see-through? And no, they're not. There is a white panel behind them, so people can't see in. But the cool thing is, is I could adjust the lighting. Let me share with you. So for the blinds, one string brings them up and down, the full set up. The other string on this side, the right side, can bring them down. To adjust the light in the room so at night you know when the Sun is setting we'll bring these down like this so we could still see out but no one could see us so that's really wonderful but this is the room <laughs> I always keep that blind above the bed shut I get asked a lot where I get my comforters and lately I've been getting them at Steinmart and this is the one I like to put on the bed during the summer it's so pretty I asked where I get the, our bed frame from, and this was from John Paris Furniture. The sign above the bed is from Michaels. All right, so this is my side of the room, I guess. I pretty much use everything on this side of the room here. This is my vanity, and this used to be my oldest daughter Callie's desk in her room. Uh, we got it as a hand-me-down from somewhere. I don't use the middle drawer um, and well one there's no handle 
but let me share with you what I do. So I do have a bench that I use here. It's the ottoman from our captain chair here. And so I have, of course, tissues, a mirror. Um, I put this frame here for right now. This was a Mother's Day gift years ago when the kids were little. Look at them, they're all in an apron making me breakfast for Mother's Day. And I love sitting here doing my makeup and being able to see that is just precious to me. Let me share with you how I organize these drawers. This is the top two drawers where I organize my makeup. Some of these bins are from the Dollar Tree, some are from Home Goods. So I have the space for my makeup brushes, my foundation and primers, um, concealers, eyebrow pencils, mascara, eyeliner, lip glosses, lipsticks eyeshadows, bronzer, lotions, and random stuff here. So, yeah, and I keep hairspray and dry shampoo back there. And then this drawer here has the hair dryer, my brushes, and the flat iron and curling iron. So I could sit and do my hair while the um, bathroom is being occupied. And so I do have a, a lamp so I can look better into the mirror doing my makeup because I do have the sun that shines in at me so but it is so nice just to sit here and get ready in the morning I have really enjoyed just sitting and taking the time to do that it's, it's the best self-care self-love I feel that you could do so on this side of the bed or on this wall I have two pictures of two temples that mean the world to me and I just need to find one like this um, but of the Manti temple and that will tie into some very special meetings for my family so all right have our big mirror here in the corner and tables are from at home all right that is my side of the room over here we have the TV with the desk that used to be in our last home this is where we keep the remotes the Xbox and just I just put some random pictures here. This is Derek and I's name in an eternal round. That was a gift from Derek's brother. It was so sweet. And um, just some pictures like this one is of our wedding day. 22 years ago. Oh my gosh. And then I just have this picture here. I love this picture. I swap through pictures all the time when I have this out. Um, you may have noticed this from the She's in Apron Home. Um, but this picture, this time that I'm showcasing is Jonah and I. Jonah is uh, probably about three days old, maybe two. And I did a photo shoot with him. And oh my gosh, you guys, what a sweet little baby. Oh, I love it. All right, so that's that side of the room. And then, of course, our captain chair, which is just so nice. It's so nice to have a chair in here just to sit and chill and talk. And the kids can come in and sit and talk with us. This picture here, this is us, is from Michael's. And you could probably snag it right now for 30% off, so. Yep. So pretty. And we do have a fan. I get super hot at night. I, oh my gosh, so hot. I know we have a ceiling fan, but sometimes for me, it just doesn't cut it. <laughs> so we do have this extra fan here. Here's Derek's side of the room. Um, but. I did put this corner shelf here because we had nowhere else to put it in the home and we had this space here on this side of the bed and so I just put some things that we already had decorations on here to make the space look really nice. Oh here's another wedding picture of Derek and I. Look how little. So little. I was 20. He was 22 and that's the same as Callie and Felix. But I think Felix is 21 <laughs> so yep and then that leads us into the closet if you guys remember this from us moving in if not I'll share it with you so I decided to do these bins from Walmart and a lot of you suggested that we put some pretty um, cardstock through these holes so we don't see all of the colors of the clothes so it makes it more standard I guess and I think that is a wonderful idea like really wonderful so um, these bins we recycled from many projects we had in the home and um, so that worked out really good to put this neutral color in here in between so each basket 
has a category to keep things organized. Like one is jammies, one is swimsuits, uh, skirts, uh, t-shirts, workout clothes. Same as Derek. He's got his side organized. Um, yeah, so and then down here is my section and up here is his section. Uh, a laundry basket under the window. I love that there's a window in here. I always keep the blinds shut. So on this landing, um, I love that the windows have these amazing landings. They all do and it's so nice. So I have some of my perfumes here. Here's a picture of our, me and my oldest daughter Callie when she was just little, little. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Um, so I have my jewelry box. My This little container here has all my bracelets, some of my perfumes. And then behind the door I have his and her towel holders basically. I've had these for years. Um, I think I got those at Rodworks. And so it holds our bathrobes and our towels after our shower. And it's just so nice to have it behind the door and out of the way. It's not perfect, but it works. And this is our master bedroom, you guys. We love it. It's so peaceful. It's so pretty. And it's just been such a comfort. And we're so happy. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining this house tour with me. Um, I hope you like the organization, my thought process, and some of the things. Um, if you have any tips for me, please leave them down below. I would love to hear what you think, what I could do. Like I said, we're not fully unpacked and things are going to change and the holidays are coming up. Oh, boy. But we're really happy with what we have so far and it really feels like home. So thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you're doing good and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hello friends, welcome back to Sheep. Yep, that's me. <laughs> and welcome to our new home. I'm going to give you a tour. That's me again. Sorry. Can you just stand still for a minute? I'm trying to get stuff done. Oh, just one minute! <laughs>